25 artists from around the country are finding their muse here in Winter Park at the Winter Park Paint Out. The artists here will be working in plein air, which for you that are a little rusty with your French, that means open air. Essentially, they'll be working from life. And today, I'll be plus one as I'll be joining in painting just to get a sense of the festival, get a feel for what it's like to paint in plein air, and hopefully get some pro tips, and while doing so, maybe get a painting that I'll be proud to hang on my wall. I just went a few steps to the entrance of the Albin Pulasic Sculpture Gardens that is hosting the event that I came across artist Bill Farnsworth already at work and he was happy to share in what he thought about painting outside. It's wonderful to be outside. It's like a treasure hunt to find an interesting scene. Yeah. But when you find that really special spot, it's, it's, uh, it's magical because it, 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 you know it's gonna be a good one. He also explained how he gets down the lights and darks of the scene because the light changes so rapidly. If you work beyond a two hour period, you're working from memory, but hopefully I have all the bones down. If I'm not satisfied, there's other things I want to look at, then I'll come back uh, maybe tomorrow exactly the same time. Well, he's certainly off to a good start. I'm going to head in and see if I can get started. But once again, a diversion. There's an artist giving a demo. They're happening throughout the week, so go ahead and check the schedule and get some tips from them when you're out here. I stuck around a little while and then made my way over here. It looked like a good spot. So I really like these red blooms. I figure I'll give them a try. So I go ahead and start setting up and getting some paint on my palette. So I start blocking in the sketch and figuring out where things are gonna go and then get to work on that background. I know for a fact I'm not gonna focus on that much. I'm just gonna keep it kind of suggestive because ultimately I really wanna focus on those red blooms. This idea of simplifying things down was really hammered in by many of the artists out here, including Stacy Barter, who I wandered over to look at her painting while I was taking a little bit of a break. Outdoors, I would say the toughest part about it is it's overwhelming. There's so much information. So you've got to really think about what your idea might be and uh, simplify it and go for that. The light is changing so fast if I don't hang on to my concept, um, then the whole thing can just kind of collapse around your ears. Oh man, that sounds painful. Here I thought it was just some sunburn and maybe some bug bites that were the biggest adversary for a plein air painter. However, it is true. Many of the artists hammered that in, the light changes, and it really does. I've watched these red blooms that drew me here dial darker and darker as the shadows from that tree above me crept further out. Come a little bit over two hours of painting and it's amazing how quickly you lose track of time. I've certainly had a good afternoon here in the gardens. If you have a moment, go ahead and stop in. While the paint out's happening, gardens are free so you can come and see the artists at work. And if there's a piece of art that you just can't do without, chances are you can buy it. All right, and I know I can't really sign off without showing where I ended up. I have to say, it's a keeper. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm Rich Pope.